Hi guys, this is KS, Engineering Director at SH Scientific. We're a 40-year-old laboratory equipment manufacturer specializing in precision testing and processing equipment for R&D and commercial labs. Today, I'm excited to introduce our MGE series of muffle furnaces. The MGE is our most economical line, but it still operates at temperatures up to 1050 degrees Celsius. It comes in four sizes, which are three, five, seven, or 11 liters. All four sizes have the same digital controller temperature stability of plus minus one degree Celsius. Today, I'm going to feature the three liter version. By the way, we do have 1200, 1500, and 1800 degree options outside of this MGE line. And we have vacuum muffle furnaces for vacuum brazing and sintering under gas atmosphere. So if you're looking for a higher temperature range, as well as vacuum furnace, then just let us know what you need. To start, simply open the door and place your samples in the chamber. All our muffle furnaces have an exhaust port on top. So remember to open it if your sample will produce volatile gases during processing. Next, Turn on the main power switch. Now we're ready to set the time and temperature. To enter the temperature settings, press the mode button twice. Then set your temperature like this. I'm choosing 600 degrees Celsius for now. Next, press the mode button once more to save your temperature and move on to time settings. Time settings tell the furnace how long to maintain the temperature we just selected. They do not include heating or cooling time. You can select up to 99 hours and 59 minutes in one minute intervals. Four zeros will set an infinite time limit, so be careful not to use that setting by accident. By the way, you'll hear a beep like this when the time is up. Here's how to set the duration of that beep. All the digits here are second, not hour nor minute. When you're satisfied with the temperature and time settings, press the power button. You'll see that run, out one, and out two are all illuminated. All of our furnaces have a neat troubleshooting feature called auto-tuning. It uses PID controls to automatically optimize the output of the heater and keep it from overshooting your target temperature. You can run auto-tuning either while or before running the furnace. Look how quickly it gets to the setting temperature. We're just 12 minutes in and it's already 600 degrees Celsius. Now. Out one is blinking, which tells us it's up to temperature and the heater is going to stay right at this level. Obviously, safety is a concern around anything this hot, but our MGE furnaces are so well insulated that they're actually safe to touch while running. Time is up, so run, out one, and out two, all off, and the beep alert has started. Finally, we'll press the power button one last time to stop the beep and shut off the furnace. That's the MGE furnace line in a nutshell. And I hope this demo has helped you picture the role it could play in your lab. Thanks for watching. And on behalf of the whole SH team, we look forward to being of service.